the infiltration is what you speak of, and I feel as a parent that we are truly up against it because the left wing controls the narrative. They control Hollywood. They control our television. They control our search engines. I have a seven-year-old child. We were watching the Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon, and the message there was one of Black Lives Matter. And that's not about a color. It's about now a movement and an ideology and a trademark, so to speak. And now I have a seven-year-old that's asking me what that means when color was never infused into our home. So I am constantly, and we are constantly up against the left and I think it makes our job and our battle even more uphill and more difficult because we need that infiltration to occur on our side as well. We, we are going to lose our country in a decade if we don't have a message to an American middle class yeah. that is more than corporate tax cuts. We are going to lose our country and, and the cultural seed, the cultural ground has been, you know, it's going to continue to be fought on. But even if a middle class worker doesn't believe doctrinaire thinking of Karl Marx, if someone comes around and says, I have, a, I have a way to blame other people to maybe make your life a little bit better, history shows us that that's not a hard argument to make. Every successful Marxist revolution of the 20th century happened because they didn't have a flourishing middle class. Hmm. And as the middle class has more and more trouble accumulating wealth, and let's just be honest, what, what is going to occur economically right now is we are going to have hyperinflation in the next 18 months. We're already seeing it with gold going up. We are seeing the markets react to it. The middle class owns nothing. The average middle class family has negative assets. That doesn't include mortgage. Let's just take the mortgage out of it. The average middle class family is anywhere between 50 to $20,000 in debt and their wages aren't going up and 20 million of them are out of work. And so that sounds like a great potential market opportunity for Elizabeth Warren or for Bernie Sanders. So we have to, we have to be able to communicate a lot better and it has to be more than just, oh yeah, elect us and we're gonna cut the corporate tax rate. It has to be like, no, here's 15 things that we are gonna materially do mm -hmm. to preserve a stable way of life. And um, that's not very popular amongst corporate lobbyist circles because all they care about is protecting their own incumbent self-interests. But the failure to do that, you, you will see, you'll see a Bolshevik revolution in this country, the likes of which we never dreamt would be possible.